What's going on guys, Terribly Tactical here and today I'm bringing you a review over the Fusion Tactical belt, the EDC belt. Um, I've been wearing this ever since I got it and I'm really really enjoying it. It's got a great price point and it's very well built and it's completely made in America which hopefully all of you can get behind that because I know I can. I always love and try and buy American when possible, it's usually the best made stuff. It's usually a little bit more expensive, but you're getting the quality for that extra bit of money. And uh, this is no exception. A belt is an extremely important part of your EDC, especially if you're carrying a gun. Um, even if you're not, you probably have a pocket knife or two, maybe a fixed blade, a multi-tool, a bunch of other gear, your phone, your wallet, you know, a flashlight possibly. All that stuff in your pants or your shorts or whatever it may be. So obviously, a solid sturdy belt to hold up those pants for a multitude of reasons and to just look like, you know, not a hoodlum. Um, I mean, you, you need a quality belt. And this is the Fusion Tactical belt with the Raptor buckle from Fusion Tactical. Um, completely made in America, as we'll see here on the tag. See if we can get this to focus. There we go. Made in America right there. You got the model number in case you want to look that up. Get the exact same one. They provide the lot number and the date of manufacturing. And then here uh, we have some verbiage here to follow. And then there's the number and the fax in case you want to get a hold of them as well as the website. I got a size large. I'm usually a, a 36 or a 38 depending on what kind of pants I'm wearing. I'd like to slim that down a little bit. Um, but I got the large just to make sure because a lot of the times on these belts you can get a little smaller. Um, but on a smaller belt it's hard to get larger. So I went and got the size up and it fits perfectly. There's a bunch of adjustment. Um, on the belt itself it's a very sturdy belt. Uh, it's very rigid. It's made out of some nylon. The stitching's really nice on it. I'll show you that real nice stitching on the webbing and the belt itself um, very sturdy you can see you can see the the stitch lines I mean, it's definitely quality built we have the velcro here for the adjustment strap so you could suck it in and get smaller let it out and get larger whatever you want to do obviously adjust the buckle um, through here this is the Raptor buckle it's made in America by design. I believe the Cobra buckles, which are really good themselves, but I think those are mainly produced overseas. I could be wrong. How this works is it clips in here, and then it's completely sturdy. It's completely um, locked in there. You could even push one of these sides, and the one side is out, but it's still not going anywhere. It's still retaining that, and then you can see it snap back in. So you'd have to push both of these sides for it to release. So it's a very sturdy belt system, a very sturdy buckle system. A lot of guys use buckles like this for rappelling or rock climbing. Uh, definitely a great EDC gun belt. It's going to be sturdy, durable. This buckle is nice because if you have a 90 degree ledge on your sights and you do need to do a one-handed malfunction clearance or, or one-handed manipulation, you can run the sights off the, uh, the buckle and cycle the gun, clear the malfunction, do what you need to do, reload it. Um, if you're only down to one hand, as well as the belt itself, because it's thick and it's sturdy. Um, I carry a gun with this belt every day, and it, it holds it up just fine. Never had any problem with a holster not sticking to it uh, with the clip or coming undone. I also wear, uh, right about here, a K-Bar TDI in an NSR tactical sheath, and that stays right in place. The belt fits perfectly. The belt is a one and a half inch uh, width, uh, side to side. And so that's pretty standard for your gun belts, your EDC belts. Uh, it's not a 2-inch duty belt by any means, but it doesn't need to be. This is just an EDC type of deal. Here you'll see a little, uh, a little loop, and that's to tuck in the extra bit of strap for when... Oh, sorry, bumping the tripod. For when you have the belt completely on, so it rides flush, nice and uh, keeps it in place and then you have the adjustment here on the strap it's just a really good belt i picked this up off la police gear for i think it was like right under 40 bucks and you know for being made in america and for having the raptor buckle and they offer a bunch of different colors the standard flat dark earth the od green and then the black i just got the black because it goes with most everything 
and uh, it's a quality belt. I mean, it's definitely not a special operations equipment EDC belt or a tactical tailor or something like that, but for the money and for not having to wait, you know, for a wait time, if you just need something simple and easy and quick, uh, this will definitely get the job done. I'll, I'll definitely give it my recommendation. I mean, it's sturdy enough. It's not as sturdy as an SOE, but it's more than sturdy enough to carry your blades, a fixed blade, a gun, hold up your pants, and be comfortable, adjustable, and uh, useful in the fact that you could use the buckle for one-handed manipulations. Um, I don't know if this belt itself is rated for it, but they do offer belts that are rated for repelling in case you're that tactical and need to do so. Um, I just think the, the fit and finish is great, the stitching is, is, is pretty excellent, and the build quality. I mean, it's comfortable to wear. I've been wearing it since I got it, have had zero issues with it. Adjustment-wise, it fits perfectly, and uh, just a nice belt overall. And uh, I'm really liking it, and I figured I'd bring that to the channel in case you guys are in need of one, because no matter what you carry, you need a belt. And that's the review, quick and easy, the Fusion Tactical 1.5-inch EDC belt. And uh, I'm your boy Terribly Tactical, reminding you to stay safe, stay armed, always be prepared, and don't ever think about treading on me. Peace.